Branson, Missouri has emerged as one of the most popular destinations in the United States for veterans reunions and events. Armed Forces Day, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, Branson honors veterans every day. Annually, Branson draws an estimated 130,000 veterans, spouses, family, and friends to laugh, reminisce, and remember. This kind of dedication to America's veterans doesn't happen overnight. It's fostered over generations by people with a heart for those who serve. The communities of the Ozarks region were established by people of modest backgrounds who proudly served when their nation called. From Union service in the Civil War through two world wars and the armed conflicts since, the Branson area has never forgotten the soldier, sailor, marine, or airman. In the 1980s and 90s, Branson's entertainment scene boomed. Enthusiastic newcomers to Branson experienced Ozark's patriotism firsthand. Among them was the late Tim Rogers, who served in the Navy during the Vietnam War. Tragically injured on an aircraft carrier flight deck, Tim returned home from Vietnam a quadriplegic. And like many of our Vietnam veterans, there was no homecoming. Tim came to Branson in 1994, and in a chance encounter, met entertainer Tony Orlando, who had traveled the world over for two decades, entertaining American troops with Bob Hope and the USO. The two became fast friends. The previous year on Veterans Day 1993, Orlando had opened his theater to veterans and their families for a show he titled, A Yellow Ribbon Salute to Veterans. In the wake of that event, Tony, Tim, and others in Branson felt that the time was right for a community-wide event to thank America's veterans, regardless of when or where they served. This new event was to be expressly non-political. Rather, veterans would be greeted with open arms and the simple phrase, thank you for your service. We want to be so special to where every veteran is equal. Every veteran is uh, honestly welcomed home. In November 1995, Branson's Veterans Homecoming became a reality. And the guest of honor for this first Veterans Homecoming was longtime entertainer and USO supporter Bob Hope. I don't think there's uh, anybody in the world who wouldn't be happy to stand up here in front of the, these wonderful people yeah. who have given so much for the country. I'm very proud of them, I'll tell you that. In only its first year, Branson's Veterans Homecoming had become the largest Veterans Day celebration in America, overshadowing the Veterans Day events in Washington, D.C. It was the beginning of a movement one that would last well beyond Veterans Day. More events were added. Memorial Day, Independence Day, POW MIA Day, and others. The nonprofit Branson Veterans Task Force was established to organize these events. Branson's Veterans Homecoming continued to grow in size. The Vietnam Traveling Wall, a half-scale replica of the original monument, came to Branson in 1996 and is displayed every year at the Welk Resort. Dignitaries such as Medal of Honor recipients, crew members from Doolittle's Tokyo Raid, Major Paul Tibbetts and the crew of the bomber Enola Gay, and the legendary Tuskegee Airmen all made appearances at Branson's Veterans Homecoming. In only four short years, attendance for the event had risen to an estimated 40,000 people. As Branson thanked veterans, veterans discovered Branson and its people from large open-air concerts to small private gatherings, Branson hosted veterans groups of all sizes. Today, Branson honors all of America's veterans every day of the year. New celebrations have been added by community groups. In 2015, the officially sanctioned Missouri Vietnam Veterans Memorial was dedicated on the campus of the College of the Ozarks, located here in Branson. Veterans of World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and Operation Desert Storm are joined by a new generation of veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. They are remarkable young Americans, brightest, best educated, trained, led, and equipped military force any nation has ever had in history. We're blessed to have them. 
Veterans Week is a great celebration of America, those who served it, and it's a wonderful gathering of people who come back year after year to be part of something very, very special. It's great. What is the power of a thank you? To a veteran, it can bring healing, a fresh start. The faces may change, but veterans are finding a warm welcome in Branson. And all because of the power of the simple words, thank you. To every Marine, every Navy officer, every serviceman and woman in this town this week, thank you for your unbelievable service to the greatest country, the United States of America.